This is question 17. Here we're told that OAB is a triangle. Then we're told that the vector OA is equal to A. We're told that the vector OB is equal to B. And then we're asked to find the vector AB. So the vector A to B in terms of A and B. So in order to do that, when I'm using vectors, I can only travel along the lengths or, or the vectors that I know. So I can't go directly from A to B in along that line there. I'm, to do this, I'm going to have to go from A back to O using that vector that I know, and then from O to B using this vector that I know. So let's write that down. I'm going to say that my vector a to B is going to be equal to, well, from A to O, I can describe that as negative A. And then from O to B, I can describe that as positive B. So I'm going to get negative A plus B. Now, just a quick point here. The reason I said that that was negative A is because it's going in the reverse direction of A. So from O to A, that would be positive A because it's going in that direction. To travel backwards along that line, I would have to say that that's negative A. So for part A, nice and simple, the vector AB is equal to negative A plus B. We could also write that as B minus A if, if you wish. Now part B, we're told that P is the point on AB. So P just there is the point on AB such that AP to PB is equal to the ratio 3 to 1. So what this means is that the distance AP, so this distance here, that distance here is three times the distance from B to P. So Essentially, what we are doing here is we are splitting the line A to B in the ratio 3 to 1. So if I'm splitting something in the ratio 3 to 1, what I can say is if I think about this as a fraction, the distance AP is going to be 3 quarters of the distance. So divide by 4 and multiply by 3. So that's going to be 3 quarters of the distance. I'm just going to write that there. And then PB is going to be 1 quarter of the distance. So if I imagine splitting this line into four parts and then saying that A to P is three of them, that would be 3 quarters. And then P to B is one of them, that would be 1 quarter of the line. So bearing that in mind, let's tackle part B we're asked to find the vector OP. So the vector OP, now if I think about this, I'm trying to get from this point here O to this point here P. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go from O to A first, and then I'm going to go from A to P. So I'm just going to write that down in terms of, of the vectors that I'm using. I'm going to be using O to A, so the vector O to A first, to get me from there to there. Then I'm going to be using the vector A to P, so plus the vector A to P. OK, so now let's, let's write this down. So OP is going to be the vector O to A. That's simply going to be A. We told that at the beginning, O to A is A. And then what we then need to work out is the vector A to P. Now, what we've just said is that that vector A to P is going to be three quarters of the vector A to B. We worked out the vector A to B earlier as negative A plus B. So what we are going to say is that the vector AP is just going to be three quarters of the vector a to b. So 3 quarters of negative a plus b. Now my question here tells me to give your answer in its simplest form, so I'm just going to have to expand that bracket and simplify. So the vector op is going to be equal to a 
and then expanding this bracket, I'm doing 3 quarters multiplied by negative a to give me negative 3 quarters a. And then I'm doing 3 quarters multiplied by b to give me 3 quarters b. So now simplifying this, I've expanded it. All that's left for me to do is to simplify. And so my vector op is going to be equal to a minus 3 quarters a, which I can say is 1 quarter a. And then all that's left there is then 3 quarters b. So it's going to be a quarter a plus 3 quarters b. So final answer for part b, op is equal to a quarter a plus 3 quarters b.